Good Lord. Here we are in Ashland. Up ahead there is the market basket referenced in the Holy Writ, also known as the trail description. And you follow along behind that to uh, Ashland Center and north all the way to Newburyport. This is 126 and this is heading south. And here we have yet another demure little mystery trailhead in the middle of bloody nowhere. And that is our beloved Bay Circuit. We're right near the Sherburn line and are working our way through a significant wetland created in part <coughs> by all these bulrush things which I've come to learn are an invasive species called Phragmites. They're everywhere here. And they're really a handful to get rid of, but what do you want? It's what we got. So this was some old marsh dike that the trail falls along. And it is referenced in the Holy Writ. We found it. And before long, we'll be finding a pile of railroad tracks in a yard that seems to be part of an old General Motors plant. This is mostly just a straight shot heading east to eventually to Duxbury, but more closely to Sherburn. And uh, it's pretty damn charming once you get off Route 126. And we're looking fondly back at the hustle and bustle of Route 126 near the boundary between Ashland and Framingham. And this looks towards the more bucolic quietude of Sherburn. Somewhere off in the distance, as we pass this recent blowdown, probably happened sometime this year. And once again, it mostly goes straight as an arrow along an old marsh dike. And that is what we're following now. And as you can see, it's exciting for bikes. Probably works well for cross country in the winter. Pancake flat. And this again looks towards Route 126 and all the way back to Newburyport one of these days. And this walks along this wall of Phragmites and marshes, getting us ever closer to Sherburn. A fine placid pond. This is uh, the culvert point for this whole diking system. See lots of cattails and whatnot. Some kind of drainage running through it. Pretty bloody impressive. We're not entirely clear what the jurisdiction status of this land is. Uh, it may still be just private land. It's a wetland so they can't do anything with it. So here we have a trail. There's very little information from the various towns as to its exact status. So it's just one of those things you appreciate for being here. Look at that. Pretty vast little wetland. Probably quite a happening habitat for great blue heron and whatnot, muskrats, so forth. The mournful and forlorn whistling in the distance of the train. And here you see the wetland opening up. The ancient carcass of a willow tree with life still 
happening on it. The marshier side over here. And we're off to the races. And we're looking back towards 126 and ultimately Newberry way, way along in the north. We're just now leaving the wetland area, coming to Lowland Woods, an old antique stove carcass contributing to the archaeology of the place. It looks like it's from the 60s anyway. Maybe the 70s. And now we'll soon be coming to the Sherburn border, which according to the trail instructions, the description is indicated by a stone wall. Most likely this stone wall we see looming up ahead. And lo and behold, a Bay Circuit blaze in all of its charming glory to indicate that yes indeed, here we are. You won't necessarily spot anything that tells you you're in Sherburn, but that's okay. Here's another old vernacular trail. We don't know where it goes. Old cart path thing. Probably property access. And it heads that way. The Bay Circuit. Let's see. I believe it goes this way, I think.